Today on SED TV, we'll be printing and assembling a PDF pattern by Sonia Estep Designs. Let's talk about the layers feature and the printer settings you'll need to print your SED pattern. Whether you've chosen the overlap or the edge to edge format, the printer settings will stay the same. If you take a look at the right side of my screen, you'll see that I've got all of the sizes currently open. To print only one of those sizes, or only a couple of those sizes, you can come over here to the left side of the screen and click on the icon that looks like three stack sheets of paper. When you do that, it opens up all of the sizes included in the pattern. You'll want to go through and deselect the sizes you don't need. To do that, you'll just click on the eye icon beside those sizes. So in this case, I'll keep the size 10 and the size 8. I can come down and finish deselecting those that I do not need. The only things that will be left will be the sizes I do need and the base layer which is always locked. Once I've done that, I'm ready to print my pattern. So I'll come to the printer icon, click on it, so that I can take a look at my settings and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. The page sizing and handling should be set to actual size and the orientation should be at auto portrait landscape. Before you print your entire pattern, print the very first page on its own, measure the control square that should measure one inch, and once you've verified that it does measure one inch, you can come back and finish printing the rest of your pattern with the same settings. After you've printed your pattern, the only thing left to do is assemble it. So let's go take a look at how to do that. If you have chosen the overlap format, you'll notice there's a line on the right side and the bottom of each page. When assembling a horizontal page, ensure the side edge of the next page is aligned with this line of the previous page. When assembling a vertical page, ensure the top edge is aligned with the bottom line of the previous page. You can use glue or tape, just be sure to follow the numerical order during this process. If you have chosen the edge to edge format, you'll simply square the edges of each page either horizontally or vertically. You'll need to use tape as you work your way through the numerical order. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and my website, soniaestepdesigns.com. You can find those links in the description below. See you next time.